Alright guys, welcome back to another video on Cooper Space Program. This is Subscriber Designs Episode 5, and we are starting off with Blackbird. This first design, Blackbird, uses the KW Rocketry mod, and it is made by JAR, J-A-A-R-78. So thank you for the submission. Uh, we wanted to actually have a little competition, me and him, long time ago, uh, with the Blackbird, see which one was the fastest and all, but it didn't really turn out that way. Just, you know, the timing was bad and all. But this is a pretty good design. I tested it out before. It works quite well. And uh, I think its maximum speed was 20,000, no, 2,000 meters per second. But the altitude was about 30,000. So anyway, let's just try this out. And the mod here is pretty good. So I'm just going to turn caps lock on here. And then we should be able to lift up right there. It's a very cool mod. I really like these boosters here very interesting the way they work and uh, jar I'll just call you jar 78 it has a has some um, separatrons here so we can separate this booster when needed to and uh, jar the only thing that I've changed is I've added a small hard point here so that it's easier to lift off on the runway because I had a couple problems from the beginning but it's all good now and this is gonna disconnect so spacebar that goes that smashes and now this and it works quite nicely. It just does take a while to get up really high in the altitude. So we'll just wait for that. And I'll be right back. Now what I didn't mention before is that these RAM antics here have been duplicated. So you can tell if they're duplicated if they are reflecting like that. And as you can see, there are actually several RAM, RAM air intakes. And that's what we usually do if you want to go to a really, really high altitude at maximum speed. And it always always ends up working. So that's a good way. And uh, Jar did have another design. It was different to this one. But I'm using this because it's uh, faster. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Anyway, we're just going to fast forward this. We'll be right back again. Now we've already hit uh, 1,100 meters per second, which is very fast. And we will be back again because it can go even faster. Alright, now we are going 1,600 meters per second. And just one thing to a message to JAR78 is that you did not need these RCS fuel tanks here. Um, I haven't needed to use RCS here at all actually. The wing is a good enough. They actually work nicely. And 1,700 meters per second. And what I'm doing is, if you look on the nav ball, I'm just staying in the 5 degrees mark there. It's working out quite nicely. The flow is getting very low put the nose down even more. Hopefully that speeds us up. Let's see how it goes. Now last time I tested this, I think I mentioned it before, I was able to go up to 2000 meters per second before the the jets here flamed out. So let's see if I can get the same results. Hopefully. Come on. Okay, let's go even down, even more down, below 5 degrees is there, please work, uh, yes, 2000 meters per second, a success, we have got it now, <laughs> cool, yes, finally, and let's check the altitude, altitude is 30,000 meters, as I mentioned before, and it is increasing, awesome, and we can just keep on going. Just like that. The flow is very, very low. Something's going to flame out any time now. I'm just waiting for it. Just waiting. As you can see, Bill Kerman is a little bit dizzy there. Huh. That's weird. Look inside. Nice. Nothing interesting there. Should I screenshot this? I don't know if I should. Yeah, might as well. Uh, screenshot. No, uh, which one looks better? Yeah, like that. I'll do. <laughs> 1,100 meters per second. Can we go for 2,400 meters per second? Can we get to that? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. If we can. It'd be interesting to see. I don't think we are going to reach 2,400 meters per second. The flow is just increasing very... St decreasing very steadily. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this design. But a good design. 
very good. Usually a high altitude plane sometimes will just go all crazy at this at this high altitude. Yeah, there's a flame out right there. There it is. I could couldn't do anything there. It's doomed. Let me try and use the RCS now, see if that works. Turn off the engines. I don't want to do internal view. I've already turned off the engines. Come on, they're turned off. Okay, let me just hold down D. D. And I'll probably just land this and that will be it. I don't know, we can throttle up now just a little bit. Not too much. Yeah, that should do. Just a little bit. Yeah, we got enough. We have enough flow. Cool. Let's move that to, to the left a little bit on the nav ball. Full throttle. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. And here comes the awesome effects. Do 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 do. Re entering the atmosphere. Super fast speeds. Come on. Let's put the nose down even more, shall we? Oh, don't. Oh, I do have caps lock on, don't I? Yes, I do. Whoa. Wow. Oof. That's hot. Hotty hot air. I'll screenshot that. How does this look? Alright. Slowing down now. We are almost out of the thin atmosphere. Yep. Check. Alright, now we have the air effects, as you can see there. And now we shall just land it. And that will be it for this design. We will use another design. Oh, oh, will you make it? Will you? Ah, oh, damn it. Oh well. Turn off the engines, turn that on. Throttle up. Turn. Come on, do your job. I do have capsule on, don't I? Turn off the engines. Yes, I yes. Are we falling straight down? No. Fast forward a little bit. Should straighten itself out. Turn off SAS. That is screwing us up. Okay. Oh, come on. Damn it. Come on. Can't control it. Damn you. Ah, oh, this is failure. I can't do anything now. It's doomed. Don't worry about it. No. Oh well. Next design. This design is called Simple Small Jet. It is by Minecrafter Bailey. And that is his YouTube name. I'll probably include his YouTube channel if I can find it. And this is a simple design, of course. As the name states. Of course, it has lights. A lot of lights. We can lift up now. It is a small design, of course. Easy to use if you just want to muck around. Try this out, just for basic stuff. I don't know, we'll probably go to the other runway. Might as well. Come on, other runway. We'll just land there. So I'll be right back. Alright, we're almost there. Let me just direct the aircraft. We'll land, and then we will head off to the next design, which is Lightning by Brian. And he says it is a high altitude plane. And I did test out the design. Uh, it's a little bit heavy, that's why it's not as fast as it can be. And I'll, I'll show you that soon enough, right after this. So we throttle down a little bit, let's fast forward. Straighten out the design. No, are we fast forwarding? I don't want to fast forward. Come on. That way. Yep. Caps lock on. Definitely need that with this design. Alright, fast forward a little bit. Throttle down. Alrighty. Now, we are going to gently turn. Very gently. Throttle even more down. It feels like we are in space right now. The design is so light. Barely moving now because of caps lock. Alright, lift it up. Move it to the left. Just a little bit. Here we go. It's so easy to maneuver this thing. Alright. Gears extended. <laughs> Hard landing. Oh, are you kidding me? Game crashed. That's great.
Alright, I am here back from a game crash. This design is called Lightning. It is made named by made by Brian. And he wishes that this can be included in one of my episodes. Okay, no problem. Did I what did I call the other yeah I did. Alright, just checking. Yeah, this is a heavy design of course. There's only there's one jet engine and a whole lot of fuel tanks here. Actually what? These are rocket fuel tanks. Oh, okay, that's why it's so heavy. <laughs> I was wondering. Yeah, uh, just let you know, you don't really need these rocket fuel tanks. That's why it's not as fast as it can be. Uh, at least it lifts up nice and early, of course. That's the main thing. And if I point the nose too high up like it is now, look at that. It's slowing down in speed. So I have to keep the nose down this much. So next time, just use... um jet fuel tanks, you don't need these rocket fuel tanks for this type of engine, of course. Otherwise you could use an aerospike rocket engine back here, I think that would work quite well with this design. Definitely. But anyway, I'll try it with design, let's see how fast it can go, and then that will be the end of this episode. Anyway, I'm back, and I can't handle this, it's, it's just a really slow design. Um, I'm going to improve it. I hope you don't mind to the designer. Who was that again? Brian. Yeah, it's um, I'm going to replace this with an aerospike rocket engine. Okay, so I'll be right back. Here we go. This is definitely improved. Uh, it is slowing down or increasing in speed just barely, but and we are at a much higher angle than we were before with the jet engine. So I'm happy with that. Let's see how fast it can go with this and that will be it. Alrighty, we are at 600 meters per second now, and everything seems to be going well. We are at a 18, 19 thousand meters in altitude, 700 meters per second now. Everything seems good. The fuel is about to waste very, very soon. This is pretty good, better than it was before, definitely. Of course, the fuel does waste quite quickly and there it is so maximum speed is 800 something meters per second let me just double check yeah, 820 meters per second cool all right I'm happy with that a better better result and of course this is a cool looking design I like the way it looks very nice and I like the shape here the way it's shaped on the edges and the back part here too is cool as well anyway guys thank you for watching that is the end of this episode I'd like to thank the subscribers Jar78, Brian, and Minecraft the Bailey for their submissions. Thank you, all quite interesting designs. And yeah, that's about it. See you next time.